everyone and I hope you're all having a very Merry Christmas. Um, I am making this a little surprise video. Well, not like a surprise video. It is my Christmas haul. But I decided to do it in my Merida cosplay, especially because I got this um, wig for Christmas. Um, I did have a wig for her before, but it wasn't full enough. Like, I mean, it was okay for a while, but the cap part was a little tight. And there were gaps at the top where you could see the cap, and that was, like, terrible. I could hide it with the um, wig hair, but it still kind of bothered me, and it wasn't as poofy as I wanted it to be. So I asked for a new wig for Christmas, and this one is perfect. It is, as you can see, very full, very poofy. I gave it a gentle brush through to make it poofier, and it is amazing. I love this wig so much. Um... Yeah, it was from Amazon. It's by Angel Icos. The box is right here. So if you're looking to cosplay Merida and you need a wig, but you're kind of on a budget, I um, recommend this wig. It was, I think, 30-ish. So, but it compared to other Merida wigs online, like ones that people make that are um, similar to the Disney Parks wig that the Merida character wears, um... Those ones are a lot more expensive, but this is amazing for what it costed. So, Angel Eye Costs. I can link them in the description if you want to check them out. So, this is the box it came in. It's really nice. Um, and it came with a wig cap, too. So, anyways, enough about that. On to my Christmas haul video. Um, so, first off, I will start by showing the chocolates I got. The Hershey's Pot of Gold. My sister got one as well, and yeah, and then I took the things out of this, but this is a bag that had stuff from a website called Typo. My sister got this for me, and stuff came in it. This was one of the things, a Disney notebook. It's super adorable. It says, I speak fluent Disney, which I do, so... That is, I'm going to have to find a use for that. Um, another thing I got is a Japanese school bag for um, some of my um, cosplays. You know, like maybe um, Haruhi and Konata and Hozumi and basically characters I do in school uniforms. Now I have a bag to go with them. I mainly got it for Hozumi though because I'm going to be wearing him for Sack Anime Winter and this is pretty similar to the bags they use in Prince of Stride, so. And I'm going to be doing his school uniform, by the way, so. And um, next I will show this bag. Um, I got a new mouse pad. Of course, it's Brave. My um, other mouse pad is kind of old. I've had it for a few years, and it's just, you know, getting worn. So I decided to get a new one, and I found this on Amazon it is the perfect mouse pad it is so pretty I love the design oh my god it's got the wisps and it's got you know it's like it's like in the tapestry style and you can see bears and it's got all the characters around her I just I love it so much it's the cutest thing and another thing I got is this Hamish plush um, for my Merida cosplay, of course, and he's so cuddly and cute. I was planning on getting the smaller ones so I can, um, carry them all with me at conventions. I can just, like, pin them to my dress or something so I can, you know, walk around easily. But I found this one on eBay for a heck of a deal, so I asked for it for Christmas. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. So I decided to get the big one, so I guess I'm going to have to get the other two eventually. But I might just carry this one around. I know people are going to ask me where the others are, but I can make up stories like they ran off somewhere or whatever. Or maybe the other two are making fun of Maudie or something, or they're messing with her. You know? But, yeah. I know they're inseparable, but, you know, there's reasons, I guess. Um... So yeah, he's so cute for the price he was, I guess, you know. I know I'm talking about stuff I got for Christmas and I'm mentioning prices. It sounds weird, but whatever. 
It's super cute though. Like, I mean, you know, you can't pass stuff out like that. So I'm like, I want this for Christmas. Okay. Um, I didn't go through this bag yet, so I know everything came in gift bags almost. Um, here is some milk chocolate butter toffee macadamia nuts. I love macadamia nuts, but I don't eat them very often because they can be expensive and stuff. So I asked for these for Christmas and yeah, they look tasty and you know, nuts are good for you. So, and another thing I got was a eBay gift card. Um, I know one thing I'm going to get with it. I don't know what else I'm going to get with it. I was thinking of maybe um, working on my Pixar movie collection and just buying more Pixar movies on DVD because I've been kind of on a Pixar kick lately. So I might want to um, buy more of the movies. I know I don't have very many Pixar movies on DVD or anything. But with that, I can, you know, work on my collection of Pixar movies. So I'm probably going to get Wally because that's my that's my favorite besides Brave. And Toy Story, um, I adore Wally -E a lot. I watched it again recently, and it's adorable. I have a newfound love for it. I'm working on like rewatching Pixar movies and stuff. So, yep. Um, let's see. Ugh, so many bags. I know. Okay, and here is a chocolate bar from Compartes. I hope I said that right. It is the Pink Elephant's chocolate bar, which is dark chocolate and frosted cookies. My sister got that for me at the store in L.A. See, she lives in L.A., so she, you know, has all the best store selections down there. So, I guess I should be lucky on Christmas for getting gifts from her. Um, another thing I got was peppermint mocha Starbucks coffee. My family knows me so well. Because, <laughs> of course, my family loves coffee, too. So, of course, you know. And... Um, oh, other things I got. My sister got these from Hot Topic, she said. First is Lilo and Stitch friendship bracelets. Well, for me, it's going to be sister, br or not bracelets, rings. I'm sorry. I, I don't know where my brain is. But these are going to be sister rings because my sister's going to get one and then I'm going to get one because we're Ohana and they say Ohana on them. I don't know if you can see that very well, but they say Ohana and that is the most adorable thing so we're going to each be wearing one. And it's perfect because she lives in L.A. And, you know, I'm up here in Central California. So it's like we'll be connected by the rings. I think that's cute. I won't be wearing mine all the time, though. Like when I go out and stuff, I wear rings. So, you know. And another ring I got from her is a scrump ring. It's the cutest little thing. I can't wait to wear that. It's so adorable. It's scrump. You know how much I love scrump. I made my own scrimp doll for my Lilo cosplay. Did I ever show that in a video? Hang on, it's right over here. I can show my scrimp doll I made. Here we go. Yep, I made this one. And I even made my own pattern for her too. So, did I? I think I did. Or I might have like drafted a pattern or something. I can't remember. It's been a while since I made it. Um, and I upgraded it recently too, like in, over the summer. But yeah, there's my scrimp doll that I made. Yeah, I wanted to make my own to make it more accurate to the cosplay. I mean, like, not accurate look-wise. I mean, accurate because, you know, Lilo makes scrump, so I thought I should make scrump for my Lilo cosplay, so it's more in character. So, yeah. Um, is that everything? Oh, no. Calendars. I got a Pushing calendar and a Zoom Zoom calendar. I think that's adorable. I would have asked for a Pixar calendar, but the Pixar calendar did not include Brave, and I was upset to see that, so I'm like, I won't get it if it doesn't include Brave. So, like, instead of putting Brave on it, they put two Monsters, Inc. ones on there for Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University, which I thought was stupid because they should have just put Brave instead, instead of having Monsters, Inc. hog it up, which is surprising. You think they'd put multiple Cars pictures on there instead of Monsters, Inc. Because Cars is like their overrated film franchise. It's like the Frozen of Pixar, people say. I kind of agree. But yeah, I don't know why they didn't put Brave on there, so I did not ask for it. Because they, they have to 
leave out one of the best Pixar movies, in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like Brave, but it grew on me. Like, I know at first I kind of gave it, I was kind of salty about it, because Wreck-It Ralph lost to Brave and everything, and I was a bit salty at first. Then later, it kind of grew on me, because Merida showed up on Once Upon a Time, and I watched that show, and I love it. Even if it goes downhill sometimes, I still watch it and enjoy it. And when I saw Merida on there, like, I loved her arc on there, except for the fact that they kind of made the clans look bad. You know, um, Macintosh, MacGuffin, and Dingwall. They made them look terrible, and I hated the way they portrayed them in the show. Because um, after I rewatched the movie over and over again, might I add, um, I became obsessed with Brave and obviously um and you know I love the clans in the movie a lot more because they don't make them completely terrible like they make them likable characters in the movie like at first they might not seem that likable but they grow on you over time and I really hope they do a sequel where we learn about the clans more because that would be amazing and I've read a lot of stuff um, from fans of Brave who've, like, given so much sequel material. Like, one was about the stones, you know, the Ring of Stones, and they say you do not mess with those stones because if you do, bad things will happen. And if you remember towards the end of the movie where her mom uses the stone to crush Mordu in the end, they can make a sequel where she gets consequences for that. And that could be... A sequel on its own I think you know that could be a whole new story and I really want a sequel I hope one of the unnamed Pixar movies coming up is a brave sequel they said if they find the right story that they'll do it so I'm just hoping anyway I never thought I would be obsessed with brave because back then if you told me that I was gonna become obsessed with it I would have thought you were crazy but I'm so glad that it grew on me over time and that I absolutely adore it now. It's my favorite Pixar film now, and I love it. And speaking of Pixar, yes, I have seen Coco, and I loved it a lot. I adored it, and I have a whole new appreciation for um, Dios de los Muertos. Did I say that right? If I didn't, I'm so sorry. Day of the Dead. There we go. I'll just say it in English. So I don't screw it up and make people mad. Um, but yeah, Day of the Dead, I have a new appreciation for it. And, you know, you learn stuff. And I thought the movie was amazing and beautifully made. And I did cry at the end. Oh my god. Um, and that plot twist. I won't spoil it, but there's a plot twist. Okay. Um, but yeah, I loved it a lot. And I did go as casual Merida to it. I wore my other wig, my cheap one um but yeah I wanted to you know represent Pixar and my favorite Pixar movie and I went as casual Merida to see it no one really said anything but I think kids looked at me so anyways I didn't wear the dress I wore like a green shirt and everything so I was like casual <clears throat> but yeah so I think that's everything I received yeah I'm pretty sure <clears throat> I know this is super long but Christmas haul it's gonna be long. Okay. Um, so I guess I will see you guys whenever. I'll probably do a pre sack anime vlog. Maybe. Um, that's coming up next week. Oh my god. I feel like not prepared, but I know I'm almost there, so I just have to like get things done and everything. So I guess that is it for now. I feel like, you know, talking endlessly for some reason, but I know I can't keep you guys forever. So I will go now, and I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, or are having a Merry Christmas whenever this is posted. And whatever you celebrate, I hope it was merry and happy and everything. And I hope, you know, if it doesn't feel like a Merry Christmas, I hope you find some joy in it somewhere along the line or whatever but yeah and maybe I'll make an end of the year video we'll see I don't know what I could do for that but you know maybe make it a pre sack anime slash New Year's thing I don't know okay before you all get bored to death bye he's so adorable I love my 
bear cub. Okay, so apparently I forgot to show some things, but um, I changed out of my Merida cosplay, so I'm just going to show the items without actually showing myself. Um, so I forgot to show this um, Mickey pin that came with the notebook that my sister got me. Um, I mean, they came separately, but like she put them together since I can use the pen for the notebook and everything. Um, I forgot to show the stuff I got in my stocking, so I'm just going to show that right here. First is a big um, cinnamon flavored candy cane. And there's that. And then another thing I received is an iTunes gift card. We get those like every year though. But, you know, they're always nice to have. And another thing I received are these pretty earrings. They are also from Typo. I think they're pretty. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. Um, and then the last item in here are these really cute penguin stockings, or socks, not stockings, that I received. Aren't those adorable? They're so fuzzy and cute. So, yeah, those are everything from my stocking. And now I believe that is everything. So, this is going to be at the end of the video, and I apologize for forgetting these things, but I just wanted to show them at the end and make another video. But yeah, it'll just all be in one video, so yeah. I think this pen's really cute. It's Mickey. Yep. Okay, so I hope you all have a merry, merry Christmas. And bye.